Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on March 9th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking at space weather, world weather, earthquakes and volcanoes, anything affecting humanity. Starting out here looking at the sun for the last 48 hours. Not very active sunspot regions but there are at least four or five that are becoming visible. Looking at incoming images here, pretty sizable incoming sunspot and one gaining some activity in the outgoing position. But still, we're starting to see the numbers increase for sunspots now that we have entered solar cycle number 25. Just having a quick look here at these amazing spectacles on our sun. Thank you to Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking here, 304 angstroms. Just amazing. I love being able to see the sun safely. Looking here at another light, you can see the coronal hole developing in the southern region, as well a plasma filament that is building and erecting in between that coronal hole and the two flashy little spots there on the other side of it. You can really see it here on this light. Plasma filament spinning around, showing a little solar tornado off the southwest limb. Looking here at Lasko 2 image, not much space weather to talk about, nor incoming. We are seeing a very calm solar wind speed at 402 kilometers per second. This is a little more like it. So no ge geomagnetic activity to talk about. Looking here at the end little space weather prediction spiral right up until the 15th. Not much to talk about either. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 14. And that is a low as well quality of 13.9 let's have a look at earthquakes here for the past 24 hours starting out here most recent a 5.1 chile and as well 5.2 that was reported yesterday south america has been getting a little bit busy recently also watch for activity through scotial plate to increase over the next little while 4.2 there as well as 5.1 to record in uh, Peru. And early this morning, a pretty sizable 4.8 Puerto Rico at a 23 kilometer depth. And they have been very active today. Swarm seems to be coming back to the region, very active subduction zone and a active volcano. Overlooking Northwest American plate, not much to talk about really. It's been quiet today except for the 3.3 here, a Juan de Fuca plate in Forks, Washington, as well 2.5 Wilmer Place, and a 2.6 in Utah. Alaska, largest report, 3.7 there in Sandpoint. Those were all yesterday's earthquakes through Japan and Curry Islands as well that 5.5 here's recent 4.6 in Fek, India right on the border with Myanmar as well 4.9 there Indian Ridge to report 
4.7 ajar Afghanistan. As well, African plate rocking again. 5.4 here in Fogomo, Fogomo, Gabon, Africa at a 10 kilometer depth. And there's been a couple of them the last couple days. And that is a very hot region that is receiving a lot of rain recently as well. Overlooking Pacific Plate down into the Kermadec Islands. It seems the aftershocks are starting to calm down. Not as many as there has been the last few days, but still a rockin'. As well, many earthquakes to report New Zealand. They're not on this map. You need ESMC to be able to follow the earthquakes in New Zealand as well. But you can see right across Kermadec, still very active. As well, the deepest earthquake to report today, 600 kilometer depth, 4.6, and as well, 400 kilometer depth. So very deep earthquakes today. Watch for larger shallow earthquakes to follow. And we've already seen the 5.1 there in Southern Chile. Watch for activity through the South Sandwich Islands and Iceland over the next 24 hours. Looking here at the last seven days for earthquakes, you can see South America is the place that is a rocking right now. And watch that to move northward to Iceland and as well southward to South Sandwich Islands. But as well, you got quite a bit of volcanic activity throughout Indonesia. And look at that still. It's, it's hard to believe how many large earthquakes, large aftershocks are going through the Kermadex. And then African Plate seeing some increased activity. Stay aware and prepared. Atlantic Plate as well, South America. And be on watch there for earthquakes, South Sandwich Islands. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here with the most recent volcanoes being updated Etna in Italy, Reventador, Ecuador, Dokono, Indonesia. Uh, Era in Japan, Ebuko in Russia, San Cristobal in Nicaragua, Sinabung, Indonesia, and Bagana, Papua New Guinea. That is a new volcano as well. So that's 53 volcanoes, and I know there are more. Sabancaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador, Reventador, Fuego. So yes, we're looking at at least 58, most likely 60 volcanoes that are erupting around the world because I know Russia is reporting a bunch of new volcanic eruptions as well. Feel free to download this app, Pacific Disaster Center, and you can stay aware and prepared to all the latest alerts, just like Morning Dew. Or you can just tune in every day to the wrap-up with the Daily Dew. Winter storms moving into parts of upper northwest United States. Only major cyclones to talk about or weather advisory, high surf advisory through Hawaii, as well as flooding conditions through Hawaii. They do have a dam that is on the verge of collapsing or something, failing. Tropical cyclone Habana is still alive and is just kind of doing some laps around the Indian Ocean right now. You can see over the five days here, it started heading east and then it came west and now it's it's going to head east again in this trajectory. And I had predicted that over the boat, well, pretty much when it had formed, that it might just sit there and get blocked and just go round and round and round. We'll see. We will see. Looking at some fires that are breaking out through Myanmar as well, through India, the border with India, and as well Laos. Not much moisture to relieve the situation there. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike, and we're going to start out here, Calgary, Alberta, home base, where, yes, it is cold at night and seasonable during the day. Still watching these Chinook winds that are hanging around the foothills, but that's about to change for the long range. Having a look here, big system coming out of the Colorado, Colorado low moving into Ontario, 
It will be affecting most of Manitoba, northern Ontario, and into Quebec. And as well, watch for severe weather outbreak through central United States. Probably looking at about five states affected by extreme weather in the next few days. As well, watch for heavy rain and snow to move into parts of the BC coastline and Alaska. As another system gets ready to hammer over the Rocky Mountains. Long line of moisture here is going to drag that low pressure Colorado low all the way into the low pressure system in the North Pole, the Atlantic. That large low that's been spinning and affecting parts of the United Kingdom and Eastern Europe into Russia. Big system. My oh my. And it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Yeah. Overlooking Mediterranean and eastward into the Indies. Watch for a very big system here to be affecting parts of as I've been talking about recently, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Pakistan, India, all of these regions, the mountainous regions, will be receiving quite an extreme weather event. Heavy snows, you can see high pressure, low pressure battling right over the mountain range. You will see some pretty extreme weather throughout the region. Watch for an uptick in seismicity as well. Southeast Asia, not much to talk about for relief for the fires except for rain through China Philippines heavy rains later in the week daily evaporation rains no major systems to talk about through Micronesia do have a tropical cyclone that's going to be forming here out of West Java it's going to be following Habana and as well you could have another one forming just behind that in the long range forecast parts of Australia watch for this long line of moisture to be stretched from the Northern Territory right down to Sydney into Victoria going to see quite a bit of rain along that line of moisture hopefully they you know it's gonna cool things off for all of you Aussies down there and again thank you all for watching and joining morning Dew. appreciate you joining the family Overlooking Madagascar. Some systems moving in. Nothing major to talk about except for the heat. And as well, moisture towards the region of the Fogomo. And this is the area of two earthquakes in the past, what, 24 hours? Or 48 hours? 5.2 Zubumu. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains, nothing major to talk about or alert. Central America, no major systems as well. And Hawaii right now is being affected by a system moving in. But it will be moving out in the five days Watch for cooler temperatures to move into the region as well. Strong high pressure ridge north of you. And then watch for this system to be a big player in the extra long range forecast for the United States. See those long lines of atmospheric rivers stretching across the oceans. This is what I've been expecting and predicting for the past four years. And it's blowing my mind that this is coming into fruition. Atmospheric rivers encompassing the planet. Volcanoes erupting all around the planet. Atmospheric compression events. Welcome to the new mini ice age. And welcome to Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern. And the major systems that will be affecting us in the long range. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.